Welcome Poke fans to a brand new playthrough of a new ROM hack which was originally in Spanish but the developer translated it to English and it is Pokemon Rocket Edition. So if anybody's played the Fire Red Team Rocket game where you act as a Team Rocket member and basically go and steal Pokemon and stuff like that, <clears throat> it's sort of like that but I think better from what I've seen. Um, the story to it and etc blah 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 I think they've also done Johto and Hoenn but that's not in English but it's due to be re released with a translation June from what I've been hearing but um, I thought it's too good to not play now so we will jump in and do the Kanto bot which I think is the main part of the game anyway right new game End of the 20th century, the Kanto region is in the midst of a transition and prosperity process. The Great War left the region in ruins three years ago. In these circumstances, Lance and the Elite Four took over the post-war government, initiating a new era in terms of development. But not everyone was happy with the new government, interpreting its rise to power as a government takeover, taking advantage of the fragility of the region after the war. This gave rise to independent organised crime organisations such as the Fuchsia Bikers who were trying to recover the pre-war Kanto. Among all these organisations, the most respected, best structured and most influential is Team Rocket with Giovanni as the leader. They are in the process of recruiting young trainers to do their dirty work and earn extra money to fund their projects. In this situation we decided to enlist. Alright, <clears throat> bit of an explanation of what's going on then. Welcome to Team Rocket. So you're one of those who were selected to be part of the Five Island Platon, right? Platoon, I think that's supposed to say Platoon. I'm Archer, top Giovanni's admin and right hand man. This is a real Pokemon and what you should aspire to. Well, I hope you're not one of those mediocre grunts who have enough with Ekans or Rotata. Insubordination and poor attitude are taken very seriously here. Keep this in mind. That said, it's time for some paperwork. Don't worry, we don't ask for legal documents. Obviously. You only have to register a name, which will be your identity here. Obviously, we will be... Um... Okay, I do miss the good old keyboard. Yep, that'll do. Well, see what Pokéx, yes. This is our leader, Giovanni. You will not find a better and wiser trainer along the entire canter. Only top rockets have access to him. If you really want to climb this organisation, you must make merits with each mission that is entrusted to you, without shortcuts or favouritism. Only then you may one day be able to meet our leader in person. Pokex, you are summoned for the presentation delivery of initials on Chrono Island Warehouse at 5pm. A world of corruption, fraud and hypocrisy awaits you. Get ready to see your beloved Kanto from a different perspective. Let's begin. Oh, okay. Rocket Warehouse. There we are. Okay, we're all here. For those who haven't heard, you are now part of Team Rocket. With everything that means, I'm Archer, Giovanni's right hand man, a main administrator and leader in the Sevi Islands. Most of you will be immediately transferred to Kanto. Do not expect friendly treatment from its citizens. You will be seen as the scum of the region. Meanwhile, let's give you your start Pokemon. You belong to the 4th platoon, so each of you will receive a Zubat imported directly from Mount Moon. Any questions? So, I couldn't help but see all those powerful Pokemon in the background. And I was wondering how our leader Giovanni wants us to perform our role in the best possible way. If he doesn't give us the appropriate tools to do so. Enough. Let's see. You have prejudged the decisions of our leader Giovanni and you're not happy with our policy towards new grunts. So there's no reason for you to continue belonging to our organisation. Hope you'll say that you don't say a single word about, you may, about what you may have seen here. Guards, take him off the base. 
Oh, he's gone. The last thing Team Rocket needs is well, well off people claiming privileges before they've proven anything. Azuba, although many of you would consider it useless, it can become one of the best Pokemon if you take care of it. A gold bat is a Pokemon worthy of a Rocket admin. And even a member of the Elite Four, Agatha has one in her position. A Crobat is already one of the five best poison type Pokemon that exist. Agile as an Aerodactyl, resistant and lethal with its sludge bomb. <clears throat> and you're going to reject that opportunity because you have to go through the process of training a Zubat first. Oh, here they come back. I wonder what they did with him. Here we will provide you with the initial tool from which you will be able to build better tools. That's what Giovanni expects, that you learn to climb starting from the lowest. Let's start with the delivery of your initials. Grunt number one. Grunt number two. Right, so we're going one by one. This is pretty cool though, like the initiation. <clears throat> Grunt number three. And then we're going to be up next. Huh. You're not on the blacklist yet and I hope I don't have to include you on the first day. Pick up your initial, return to your place and don't waste any more time. Oh. Right, let's take the Zuba. Doesn't seem like this Pokemon has much energy. Great. Well, now that you all have a Pokemon, let's proceed to explain your roles in our organisation. And I'll be short explaining. Basically, you'll be the ones who have to do the dirty work. Extortion, theft, settling scores. You'll clean the land and you'll obtain all the illegal money possible for Team Rocket. Collaborating the financing of the projects. While you can't prove otherwise to me and the rest of the world, you as low as possible. If you're competent and do your job correctly, you'll gain respect, rewards and accolades. Not before that. Grunt from 5 to 13, the last two rows will be transferred immediately to Kanto. Right now there is a boat in Crono Island port waiting. Prepare your things, you'll set sail in one hour. Now get out of my sight. Off they go. Well, there are four of you left. It's a tradition to keep some of the grunts we exported to Kanto from Crono Island. At least for a short period of time when you were lucky. This way you will delay witnessing the circus that the region has become. Come to my office and I will give you details of your mission. Meanwhile, show off your new Pokemon for sure. Warehouse Grunts will be happy to fight with you. Alright. So we will stay on Crono Island for a while. That Archer doesn't fall around. So people say that just Giovanni is above him. Have you seen that Grunt's face when Archer got closer to answer him? I doubt if he can live in peace after this. I doubt he's alive, although he hasn't been, although he hasn't seen much, he's seen enough to get menaced. As for us, as Archer said, we're now apart from Team Rocket, we'd better get to his office soon. See what exactly he wants of us, there aren't exactly a lot of things to do on this island. Alright. Is there not a run? Okay, um, Pokemon, we've got a Zubat. So, Poison Flying, Infiltrator. He made. <clears throat> yeah, that traps your attack, doesn't it? So it looks like we're gonna be running special. Nose absorb, bite and supersonic. Bite's it's not too bad. All right. Um, what we got? We got around here. Oh, contains a right horn inside. It's better not to touch it. Poor unfortunate recruit, there's nothing that irritates our best administrator more than the attitudes resulting from law of least effort. Did you really expect us to give him a routine out of nowhere? We are a criminal organisation, an NGO. I don't know what that means. Contains a Nidorino, it's better not to touch it. A few know that this warehouse is actually our main source of Pokemon traffic. We also carry out various experiments, although in Kanto we have better laboratories. From Corona Island we got very interesting conclusions about the manipulation of radio waves, for example. Oh, okay. Let's go through here, see what's around here. Don't you have a job to do? What are you waiting for? You're losing efficiency and we won't tolerate it here. Ooh, he's a bit snappy. Indeed, our Corona Island warehouse is this hidden basement. Here we first examine the stolen Pokemon before exporting them to Kanto. Feel lucky now you'll be working for Team Rocket. 
Take charge of doing your job, Grunt. The kind of things that we do here are too complicated for you. Honestly, some of these scientists are a bit jackass, aren't they? Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything here. And uh, what do you do? Welcome to the Rocket Pokemon Center. Oh, okay. So you heal. That's good to know. Oh, trainer bell. Here in Five Island is a habit to testing the skills of new recruits right out of the gate on guard. Alright then, battle time. Oh, Rattata. Um, let's go bite. Oh, we've got a flinch as well. You love that. Up next is a sentry. Close to level 6. Good job, recruit. Go ahead. Alright, got a potion. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Got a pearl. That's good. Sell that for money. Team Rocket does not skimp on research, innovation, development expenses. That's why we're a reference organisation on Kanto. But energy this Pokeball gives off clearly see that there is quite a powerful Pokemon inside. Steal it. We're Team Rocket. Right, let's grab that item down there. I guess it's going to be a potion or something. Oh no, Big Pearl. Really setting us off with money, yeah. My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Do you feel the same, mate? Um, yeah, sure. Data controls 21 century oil. Who's able to control it will dominate the entire world. The confidentiality of our underground warehouse is vital. Right then, let's jump into this battle. Meowth. Um, fight. Thankfully, <clears throat> it doesn't want to attack us, so... Alright, level 6. Seems like new recruits on this year are strong. It looks like it. Alright, got King's Rock. Doesn't that help with flinching? I mean, I'm just going to give it a bat anyway. And uh, now I can run. All of a sudden. Come on, guys, just in case some kids these days like to be nosy where they shouldn't be. Oh, we can actually head outside. Goldie need logging, yes, no nah, chance. See, the cleverness of our password lies in their palindromic in nature. So I wonder if we can. Yeah, we can encounter Pokemon as well. Hop it. What else? You appear to be another ordinary rocket among the crowd. If you succeed in su securing a special mission from Archer, come back and speak with me. Some say that warehouse destroys and contaminates the island's landscape, but I believe it adds a unique touch and certain personality. Are you with me? Well said, Team Rocket rules. So we can literally. Oh! Tired of this boring island. As hell, not even the wind moves. Let's have a battle, comrade. So we can just go off gallivanting. We obviously do need to go back to the warehouse though. Spinarak. Oh, we definitely don't normally learn Monsla. Alright, I think we'll um We'll head back rather than <clears throat> running on. I'm assuming we get Pokeballs as well. Once we've done what we need to do in the warehouse. Right, before we head up there, let's just quickly heal. Because I'm not sure how much PP we have left. There we go. So, 
not there. It was down here, weren't it? Oh, so Archer's called you to his office along with the other three recruits who are staying here. But he hasn't told you... What he hasn't told you is that we're going to test you first. <laughs> Whatever. <coughs> Bring it on. Oh, it's perfect time to learn Mudsler. And Zubat versus Zubat, we should definitely win this. Just about. That's what we expect from new recruits. What's up? Based on our recent research, specific radio frequencies have the potential to directly impact the evolution process of Pokemon. Induce mutations that alter their original colour and in extreme certain instances alter their overall base stats resulting in complete gene modification. Huh. Ah. Interesting. Alright, we'll heal up and then we'll um, head back that way. Um, down here, weren't it? Not so fast. Archer has express, expressly asked me to take care of the four new grunts. Any wider theme, you will earn the right to compete for an exclusive mission. Actually, two of the three grunts have already lost that opportunity since I've defeated them. You were the last one to examine. Ah, okay. So we're going to have a rival. Oh, wow. One shot. Coughing, just bite. Wow, so we have two guns that are worthy. Interesting. Archer's waiting for you in the other rocket who was able to defeat me. Go ahead and listen carefully to the details of the mission. Well, it looks like we're not waiting for anyone else. It will be you two who will have the opportunity to get off to a good start in this organisation. I will give you the details of your mission, listener. To the north of this island, in the resort gorgeous, the new local consul who's in charge of handling Kanto's relations with the Sevy Islands has recently set up house here. At the time we pulled some strings to get a scent here, all in order to obtain carte blank to carry out all kinds of ex exports to Kanto without passing customs or any kind of tax, which has been perfect for our business. However, she has recently cut her ties with us. And we have indications that she may at any time inform the Kanto authorities of our movements in the Sevi Islands, which would greatly diminish the profitability of our business here. Your mission is clear. Go there and make her remember thanks to who. Thanks to who is where she currently is, that is us. Make her see that she has our support. Offer her to be a shareholder of our company. Make it clear by her that she will have a series of privileges and special offers due to her position. If she still refuses, makes it clear that she will inform the authorities of our plans. Show no mercy. No one threatens Team Rocket. In that case, she must silence her by defeating her in a fight. Defeat all her water-type Pokemon to prevent her from running away using Surf. Once that is done, we will take care of the rest. Enough talk. Before I give you the tools to face up to the mission, I want to see you fight here and now. I must make sure in person that you meet a minimum level of competence. Show me what you've learned. I defeated the other two guns before. There's no way you can beat me. Train harder than you. Oh, are you sure about that? So this will be our rival then. Andra. Oh, you gotta love missing them supersonics. How is yours about stronger than mine? Just skills. Doesn't make sense. Why did you beat me if we started from the same conditions? Enough. I hope you'll train more on the surrounding area. You could use another Pokemon apart from Zubat if you want to be competent. I inform you that in the meadow you can find Meowth, Pidgey, Rattata, Sentry, and even Vulpix or Psyduck if you know how to look for them. And this is where the second part of the mission comes. To get to Resort Gorgeous you need to have a Pokemon with Surf. It's known that the Sentry of the meadow are famous for knowing this move. What you'll do is capture one that will help you to get there. Use this to do it. In the past the Rockets would catch one from the meadow with their own hands. But this, pra <coughs> but this practice, which aimed to teach the rocket important qualities such as improvisation, adaptability, and not taking anything for granted, was abandoned. Initially, due to its inefficiency, we could capture large quantities of Sentry at once and use them as a reserve for new grunts, but the main reason is new generations, they want everything done for them. They're unable to tolerate a little discomfort that serves a greater purpose. T 
key market as an organization trying to remain relevant there's no choice but to give in if people judge a book by its cover there's no choice but to color it even if just a bit perhaps then those who only aim to skim the surface can delve deeper with that said here we center it all right you don't have to worry about having problems using surf we are team rocket we are not bound by that stupid code of having certain metals use hms you use them when you need them and that's it i have nothing more to say to you come back here when you have accomplished your mission you may leave at your service admin archer we'll meet at the console's house won't allow another grunt to get ahead of me i'll make things clear with her and get the reward for completing the mission I don't need you yeah whatever bozo do I need to heal? Oh no I don't because you didn't even tap me did you? Right who was the person who said to come back? Was it you? Comrade running low on items I want to become a high rank grunt as soon as possible If you help me train I'll give you some pokeballs Oh yeah we'll do that Prepare to witness the power of a future high rank Three pokemon there Oh don't know about that Hound or um, I suppose we we'll go sentry. No surf, do it. Whoa, that did so much damage. Um, meow for go Zubat. Right, nice and easy. You've got talent. You have great potential, comrade. If you stand track, you'll go far in Team Rocket. Take this. Alright, five Pokeballs. Not bad. I wonder if you can do it again. Oh, okay, so you can just keep battling. Does the team stay the same, though? Yeah, it does. Oh, interesting. One shots. <laughs> Once to learn quick attack, we'll get rid of foresight. Let's go back into Zubat. Lynch again. I reckon <clears throat> one more time, 15 Pokeballs should be enough, shouldn't it? Plus Z, but I'll also go up to level 10 then. What's the Mega Drain? Oh, okay. Get rid of Absorb. Hound Door, let's go back to Sentry. Ooh. Quick attack, finish it off. Flinch. No. Better luck next time, I suppose. Alright, 15 Pokeballs. So I think what we'll do, we'll heal up. And then we'll start moving forward. There we go, all healed. Just speeding that while we're in here, because we've been in here numerous times. Alright, so we can surf now. Let's see what we can find. Where does this lead to? TM7 Hail. Hmm. Not something I was expecting to find. Oh yeah, Pokemon. Ooh, Tentacle. Might catch this. Gives us a water type, doesn't it? Plus tentacles actually not that bad. It is another poison Pokemon, no, that's the only thing. Oh, that's mod slow. It's good XP though. Right, what we've got over here? Memorial Pillar. I'm the oldest of the bird brothers. The best thing about birds is their beak. Two Pokemon starting with a PG. Spearer, let's go center it. Surf. 
quick attack, finish it. Not bad, not bad. Oh, got a mint. Wonder if that's one. No. Right, hop it. To be fair, Tentacle could probably take this out. Poisonous thing. Oh, it's got synthesis. That means this is going to be a long battle. Um, it's got absorb. What? Okay, maybe um, not use tentacle. I'm the middle brother of the bird brothers, and you should know that the best thing about flying type Pokemon is their wings. So the first one said the beak, and the next one said the wings. Oh, far fetched. Lap flap. Berry citrus. I'm guessing that's a citrus berry. Ah, oh, jolly mint. It's worth checking all of these then. Right, what else we got? Youngest of the bird brothers. No doubt the best thing about flying type Pokemon is their feet. Ah, oh, Natu, we delete that. Who too? Let's go sentry. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, wake up, sentry. There we go. <coughs> Thankfully, that Who too is stupid. But I'm already used to losing. Okay, what have we got around here? Oh, another little area. Oh, what's going on? Even if you should live a 3,000 years and even 10 times as many, always remember that no more life is lost than the one that is lived and that only the one that is lost is lived. Thus, the longest life and the shortest one come to be reduced to the same thing. The present moment that is lived is the same for everyone. The one that is lost too. And this one that is lost comes to seem invisible to us. And the thing is that it is not neither the past nor the future is lost since what we do not possess, how could it be taken away from us? It's advisable to always keep these th two things in mind. The one effing fraternity is presented with the same appearance and revolves in the same orbit. So it makes little difference to present the same spectacle 100 or 200 years from now. That the old man and the one who dies prematurely experience the same loss since we are only deprived of the keep in mind that is the only thing we possess. Since you cannot lose what you do not possess. <clears throat> oh man, that was some mouthful. Alright, let's check these rocks because you never know. Okay, yeah, nothing. This way I'll bear with my onyx, it was called tectonics. Ah, nice. What have we got here? Ooh, metal coat. This seems a little weird that there's a little surf thing here. Wonder if you can encounter Pokemon here. Right, let's speed up. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Alright, um... So there's nothing actually here. Did I check the back? Yeah, nothing. Alright, so that was a little weird. Ah, oh, that's just a shortcut. Okay, back to the meadow. We got around here, didn't we, because we battled you. Right, Five Island. So Island's considered a Union Bridge transitory between old and new. Maybe one day you'll discover the reason. And um, where time goes. Right, what are we going here? The meadow to the east has been my family's proprietary for generations. I should have built a huge mansion on it. It would be preferable instead of having to put up with you and your savage organisation. Ah. Oh. 
Why is he so, like... What's the word? <clears throat> like, sour? Do you want to catch all the Pokemon you come across? Incredible. Hey, let me know if you catch any strong ones. Right, I will quickly heal. So we can use Pokemon centers, which I suppose is a good thing. I forgot to talk to that guy, didn't I? I'll cook a meal for someone very important. Okay. Who's this? I don't like her. Uh, she's built a house in the middle of the recreation area. I've been there quietly before, but since her arrival, though, it is prohibited. Right, there's another building here. Team Rocket's generally treated much better on these islands than in the Kanto region. The discrediting politician campaigns carried out by the League government have damaged your image so badly. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, we spoke to you, didn't we? As a rocky one, you should know that Quillfish and Tentacle are two water poison type Pokemon that are strong while also matching organisations' profile. Take advantage of these wars to catch them. Well, we've seen a tentacle, but we haven't seen a, um... Don't see you try anything weird outside of your assigned times. Yeah, we've, um, we've seen a tentacle, but we haven't seen a, um... Whatchamacallit? A uh, quillfish. See, I don't know whether it's worth trying to do some... Grinding. With tentacle. So ideally it needs to learn something a bit better than um poison sting. The only thing is I don't know when it learns a new move. Yeah, level three Pokemon aren't quite cutting it, are they? Alright, so I think what we'll do, um, we'll keep it nice and sweet. Um, we'll end it here and um, next episode we will go and look for the console and do our first mission. I'm hoping we get some more Pokemon. Because, um, I mean, I like Crobat. I probably won't use a furry. Um, tent crawl maybe, but then we do have the double poison. I wonder if we get to steal Pokemon like you do in like the, the um I think it was called Fire Red Rocket. Um but yeah, I know it was a, a ROM hack of Fire Red, whereas I know this one is Emerald. So yeah. <clears throat> well um I'm looking forward to getting into it. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.